Peace Bond is a new stasis sidearm as part of the Iron Banner loot in Season of the Lost. So this one is a competitive sidearm that's going to help you rip through enemies in PvP, plus there's some decent PvE rolls too. Well today I'm going to check out the Peace Bond sidearm, the stats the God Rolls to chase for PvE and PvP, plus look at how to get Peace Bond in Destiny 2. Well, if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. Well, Peace Bond is a legendary kinetic sidearm with an adaptive frame, meaning it's well-rounded, it's reliable and fires a three-round burst. So looking at the stats, got 75 for impact, 40 for range, 81 for stability, 55 for handling, 36 for reload speed. It's a 491 rounds per minute sidearm with 30 in the magazine. And definitely in those stats there, impact jumps out at 75, plus that stability at 81. Well, next up, let's have a look at the Peace Bond God Roll Guide. So for PvP, Hammer Forge Rifling, Appended Mag, Subsistence, and Snapshot Sight Spear, decent roll. So Hammer Forge Rifling increases range, whereas Appended Mag gives you more in the magazine. Subsistence reloads the magazine after defeating targets and Snapshot Sights, makes it faster to aim down sights. For PvE, Corkscrew Rifling, Acurize Rounds, Range Finder, and Headstone would be a decent roll. So Corkscrew Rifling slightly increases range, handling speed, and stability, and Acurize Rounds increases range again. Range Finder further increases range, and Headstone is a new legendary stasis perk, where Precision Final Blows spawn a stasis crystal at the victim's location. Well, next up, let's have a look at how to get Peace Bond in Destiny 2. So to get Peace Bond, you are going to want to run Iron Banner in the Crucible when it's available. So at the time of creating this guide, Iron Banner is available until the 7th of September, plus it's going to be back at various times throughout the season. We're bound to have plenty of Iron Banner this season, given the length of the season, taking us up to February 2022. We don't have a roadmap yet for the season to highlight when Iron Banner is, but as soon as that roadmap comes out, I'll let you know on the channel. So if you don't want to rely on RNG for this sidearm drop for you, then it's a reward from the Seasonal Quest in Iron Banner in Season of the Lost. And you are going to get this as a reward from the third step of the quest, just after you have to get the ability kills. Well, that is a little bit about the stats the God Rolls to chase, plus how to get the sidearm in Destiny 2. Well, next up, let's have a look at the lore. So there's some great lore this season. And I do like to read out the lore when it comes to the weapons, so you don't get to miss out on any of the good story. So we've got Peace Bond Law. I will honour the terms of this armistice on one condition, the Iron Lords enforce it. And that one comes from Lord Saladin. Each passing moment is marked by the click of an analogue timer on the wall. When the pressure gauge reaches 100%, the timer releases a final click, and the airlock doors grind open in the hangar bay. Lord Saladin tucks his helmet under his arm and marches inside. He's met by banners of blue and white ring in the walls, each bearing the crest of Keitel's empire, the Cabal Ascendancy. A pair of blue armoured phalanxes greet Saladin at the entrance with raised rifles, but the Iron Lord strides past without a glance. The phalanxes slowly lower their rifles and turn toward a heavy armoured Valus approaching from the other side of the hangar. You come alone, Valus Oroch bellows, reaching up to wrench his helmet off, a pressurised hiss escapes as the environmental seal breaks. You're bold, Commander. Lord, Saladin corrects as he closes the distance between them. My title is Iron Lord. Valas Orok comes to a stop, looking down at Saladin with narrowed eyes. Iron Lord Saladin, he tests the unfamiliar words with gnashing teeth. You are bold. I'm not here for flattery or formal processions, Saladin rebukes, now within arm's reach of the Valus. Saladin looks up at him, unafraid, undeterred. How do you want to do this? The Valus locks eyes with Saladin, then snorts loudly and rumbles with appreciative laughter. I have a war room, he says in a more conversational tone. No more boasts, no more chest beating. We are tracking the movements of the Hive ships in the vicinity of the Mars anomaly. There have been developments in the Dreaming City regarding Zivar Arath you should be aware of, Saladin replies. Lead the way. Well, really, really interesting stuff there. And it looks like there's ongoing developments between the Vanguard and the Cabal. And it is interesting that Saladin is going there without Zavala. And I do wonder if Zavala knows what's going on with Iron Lord Saladin. 
Well, let me know down in the comments what you think of the Peace One sidearm, and let me know what roles you got. But that is it for this guide on how to get the Peace Bond sidearm in Destiny 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching. For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. If you want to join the community, check out the Discord link in the description. Or you can follow me on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Thanks again. I'll see you soon. to Savathun is not your concern. She helped the Guardian liberate me from Spider. I owe her. Feel sort of a kinship with her, do you? It's not like that. For your sake, it had better not be.